Oh, okay. So on New Year's Day, I'm going to be doing a New Year's look. Um, first part of the tutorial is styling my hair. This New Year's look, I decided to base it on Jubilee. And if you look up the word Jubilee, other than the X-Men, it's celebration, happy days. I think she initially came out around the 80s, 70s. And recently when they showed her in the movie, she was like all into the 80s fashion. Um, Madonna, side ponytail, side mohawk. So I'm going to be doing a mohawk, um, kind of side ponytail thing. You're going to see how I pin it up. And um, my whole look is going to be based off of club kid, you know, drag. All right, another one stuck in my head, but yeah. I'm thinking of Madonna. I'm thinking of um, Boy George. I'm thinking of um, anything club kid. What's your name? Sasha Velour. You know, that kind of fashion. So I'm mixing Sasha Velour or the 80s with Jubilee, which is New Year's. But instead of fireworks, I'm going to be doing stars because it's a nice geometric shape and that goes into the club kid. What I'm doing for Jubilee is her colors. Since I'm not going to do blue here because with the glitters I got in this whole package, all everything I use in this, I'm going to be using in this package, it goes really well with this teal here. So instead of blue, I brought in pink. Um, I think her shirt is pink, whatever she's wearing is pink. And yellow, which is basically her jacket because I don't have a jacket that's yellow. Also, I'm doing the 80s kind of punk um, look as well. Her goggles that I actually put some foil over but it's so nice and festive and glittery so it's perfect with this whole color scheme on my nails as well you know something that i'm correcting my six for so i'm going to be putting glitter in my hair i'm going to put one big firework in my hair that leads to my eyes i don't know how i'm going to do it i already moisturized my face and everything but i have to set my hair first so first i'm going to pin these down to make it look like a mohawk and put this in a side side ponytail which is so back then and scrunch them up with these these colors oh god okay let me add that frizzy here was a big thing back then as well i was going to do a frizzy afro but i really needed this color and because it goes well with pink and yellow and gold and silver and all the festive colors so i'm going to put yellow first Already getting into the groove. That's stuck in my head. And I also want to bring in the pink somehow. I'm also I have more scrunchies I'm gonna put on my arm. I think there's one for my neck, but I'm not sure. Yet I'm gonna put that last because I don't know if I'm putting makeup on my yet neck yet. If I work, I'm gonna make it out of the silver first because it's a good base to put over. You could put whatever eyeshadow over. And I'm gonna use this gel. Look at the gorilla gel. Gorilla. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it really does look like snot. And this reminds me of those black hair shows. You'll have like the best curls and everything and they'll just put a design on top of it. I think it started like back then as well. I wouldn't be surprised if it did start in the 80s because I remember the hairstyles like aunties and grown women used to have back then. I had it. I went to a wedding um, and I remember a girl was like, so do you want like gold glitter streaks? And I was like, excuse me? And what they would do because since it's like fake or not your hair, I think I would do it with some real hair as well. But um, use nail polish, the, the ones that does designs with a thin brush. And with anything you phone, like with this, like this streak right here, they just put a streak through. And it looks amazing. Okay, so I'm going to be using Wet n Wild Peach Corrector first before I use my primer because I'm trying something different. And then I'm going to... Um, Set that with an HC finishing powder, which is from NYX. I can't believe I had to do all this just to take the like the blue tone for my skin. Um, while I was doing my eyebrows, I refixed it to be more a little bit more curvy. So foundation is Wet n Wild um, and Espresso, and I'm gonna beauty bounce that over my face with a sponge. I got my color black. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
the color black. And look, there is no blue. Anyway, NYX got you covered in tan. Oh, my eyebrow. Boop, under my eye. Here, I'm gonna highlight with it as well. So, that's a lot, by the way. We're gonna set our highlight with this um, Ben Nye Luxury Powder. The same Bluey. Why do I keep saying Bluey? I don't know why. And this is a nutmeg. At the top, I'm gonna dust it off. Just here, not down here, just here. I'm gonna dust it off with, um, on face powder, just put our face powder. Okay, I was making sure on the rules of highlighting and things. It says highlighting and contouring cream liquids and powders that are not shades of black and white. Good. So I was like, well, because it says foundation, concealer, and powder in your mouth skin tone. Okay, but I use concealer or anything else, but my concealer is also highlighter. No, I think these are the ones that you're allowed. You will only be allowed to use the products given to you with the exception. Okay, with the exception. Okay. Hey, honor. This is my highlighting. I didn't only use it for concealer. I use it for highlighting because it's very nice and oily. I need oil for my skin. Oh, I'm guessing when doing the makeup, you can't use um, like concealer in another color, like using it as something else. You're going to use it in your skin color, but on but not in the shades of black and white. We're cool. Good, because this is my base and this is catching all the glitter. Um, I need, oh, well they gave me black. I was gonna use this for contour anyway. I need an eyeshadow base. Um, I think that's mostly allowed. I would use this concealer, but this concealer is way too oily unless I put the concealer and put this over it like I did for highlighting because I want my eyes to be highlighted so all these things can be shown. Excuse the talking in the background. So I'm going to use, I'm going to contour my eyebrows first and then blend it out into here. I'm going to blend out my eye. There's no matte color here at all except for the black and this shiny thing and you don't blend out shiny. So I'm using Give Me Space, which is this by Morphe. Oh god, I think it's these things don't stay in. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a liner brush to draw out a big cut crease, which is kind of like those drag club kit things where it's like up here and goes straight up into your hairline kind of thing. Um, I'm doing it different on this side. So I'm using an angle brush. I'm going to follow my natural line. We're gonna wing it out into my natural dark eyelids, which is why I usually color correct. Alright, so now the blending brush, this is too big. I have no lid space at all. The reason I'm not blocking my eyebrows is because um, I already did it before. We're going to take the liner that they gave us from LA Splash, which is called Slim Eyeliner Waterproof. Art kit? Tech? Art kit? Oh my god, saying it. Oh my gosh. I know what it says, but for some reason it's spelled, okay. Architect. I think with the black, I could deposit more of that um, color. I thought it was gonna be more pigmented than that, but the black seemed to be more pigmented. So I'm gonna keep going over this black with this thingy. The thing is with the camera, it looks really, really stark. But in real life, that thing is blended. Um, I think last time I didn't blend. I like I blend, but there was no stark line. I know I think it's the opposite. But before I go on with that line, I'm gonna use a concealer in my face color to cut my crease with. Okay, now that I have my shape, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, by the way. But 
I this this is this needs to set. So now that I have my shape, I'm gonna go from light to medium. Um, the light one being oh glisten, and then we'll go. Oh god, there are these like teeny picky pickages. Uh, which one is this one? Starlight. Oh god, Goldilocks. I am so happy that I have this now this time. I want to know it's all this time. Um, and Goldilocks is going to go, I forgot to mention, gem in the holograms. Also inspired by that. And this is going to be more like gem, um, but not really. Just more like David Bowie, whatever shape that I bring this into. So, yeah. It looked like Wolverine. Um, funny enough, Gem don't have like eyeliner, so that's why I made it nice and short, which is kind of odd um, for me. But I like it. So, while we're on this side, we're gonna contour with that bleak. the camera came off. Obviously, I just put a line through for one firecracker to be here. Um, see, yeah, I'm trying to do the line. Um, it's, it, like, it's the fault of my hooded lid. Um, when it looks straight, it's a different line than looking down, and that bothers me. So I'm not gonna put a line only because if I move around my face, it won't be a straight line. Okay, before I keep going, I'm gonna glue down my hairline and maybe get some baby hairs if I want to because I need this to be a flat space and my hair is there. So I'm gonna use the same Gorilla Snot, this tight down, wait till it dry. And maybe while wait till I dry, I'll just do my other eye. Let's see how lazy I am. <laughs> okay, gladi I didn't put the spice because these lashes match perfectly with what I kinda wanna do it. Um, I'm gonna use the big eyes falsely. Okay, so now I have my stars, <laughs> cap on me stars, on. I could go on to doing the glitter on my forehead. It's coming here, I'm going down, and I have to go gradient to black. When you put light colors over black, sometimes it looks like it's glowing, which is why I made my stars black. Body hairline, it's already hard to like do it even with a mix of medium, so. Because <laughs> it's like a lot of texture. I'm going to be using this one, which is pearl white. I'm finally using it. Look, I knew it was pretty, so I stayed away from it because I would keep using it. <laughs> this would have been good to mix with gold, but since it's a black base, I think I'm fine. 
So since I'm not doing this on this, like I usually, sometimes on one side it feels like an accent, I'm going to follow here and make it like a highlight and go to Lux. Let me keep gushing. You can't even see what I'm doing. I'm sorry, I'm like gushing so much about it. Like, here I am, here, here is what I'm doing. I'm following this beautiful line with this beautiful pigment. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, that's my favorite part. All right, so now without the pigment um, stuff, I'm going to use a nice flat poofy. Dip it in a little bit. Like stamp it in because this just drops a lot. Go over what I did. Make sure most of it is clean off the brush and then blend that shit down. I want to keep that black. Yes. Yes, sorry, Bob. I'm just gonna blend that over that goddamn eyebrow. That's a beautiful view. I like how it got brown and a bit muddy brown, but that's okay because everything's muddy because, you know, I'm using black. It just blends. I need a. Oh my god. Okay, now we have everything set on that side. I'm gonna make the stars shine. Glisten? Why does it look like glisten? Anyway, glisten. Just this one. To make the stars actually glisten. I put it on my highlight because I want my highlight to be highlighted. Um, so I'm gonna make a triangle shape on my lips with, um, with a liner. Abstract, maybe carrying this over or something. I don't know, something abstract. So I'm gonna come back with the shape. Okay, so I'm going to use the, mm, me and names, give me space. Go around that and shade it in like a lip liner. Okay, on the lips, I'm going to put Goldie Goldilocks over and leave the outside nice and lined. Okay, that, so that's what's going on and it looks nice and abstract. Abstract. Um, I haven't used this glitter enough, so I'm going to use it. Since I have so much gold space, I'm going to use it as the middle um, thing. <laughs> But they're transparent, so that's why I don't mind putting them over something. Beautiful. Oh, oh, it just sinks right into my eye socket. Like it's kind of like Korean um, eye glue. It just makes it pop. <laughs> I just thought of something. Um, I also didn't use a silver much. It's mostly in my hair. So what I'm going to do is artistically, I'm going to use the line because it's more flexible than the glitter glue. Are you following me? Are you following me? Okay. <laughs> I am going to put that on one side of my lip. Tell me this is not cloak kid. Abstract, triangles, swirls on the head, missing eyebrows, never the same as the other one. Well, the stars, um, yeah, that's not really Club Kid, but um, <laughs> it's it's more of Jubilee. So come, come, come on, it's Jubilee we're doing right now. Um, other than doing my other eyelid, I think I am done. I don't think I need to do any other part of my face. Um, I will put in black lens. I want the big circle lens because, you know, I feel for um, Jubilee, she's young. And Oh, no, no, no. I just got something. So I have that um, pixie dust thing over here. I'm calling it pixie dust because it looks like it. The um, pearl white. On the inner corner is here, but I don't have it here. 
like how I have Goldilocks here and I don't have it here, but I have it here. I'm not gonna put this on that side because since my look is abstract, it kind of looks better. I think it will take away from, oh God, I love you. The goalie looks there compared to over here. There's a lot going on over here, but at least it matches, you know, here, here, and it goes up to there. Um, yeah, I had to put the firework there, but this goalie looks is the star of the side. It's literally the star of the side. I need it to stay and be its own thing. And if I put glitter there, it would just be, I think it would be too contrasty. Contrasty, it's so much glitter. So I'm gonna leave it for now. And I know this highlight don't look good, but again, this is the 80s and <laughs> you don't want me to highlight my whole face with glue looks. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh anyway, yeah, that's why I'm not doing the other side. Maybe don't notice too much. You see what I'm talking about? If I keep going into the go to looks, yeah, I think the nose is let's just blend that out. It don't need to be stark. Okay, it's still there. It's nice and glistening. I need more lux. Stamp it everywhere. It needs to be everywhere. Glitter. Everywhere, everywhere. There's glitter everywhere. Every oh my, everywhere. Wait, my dogs are gonna have glitter on them, I swear.